I got me a Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Chamber. Let's crack it open. <music> Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Chamber action figure. Uh, had this on pre-order from Amazon when they announced this. From uh, on ha When Hasbro announced this was coming out and it went up for pre-order, I got it. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I know nothing about Chamber. I know some of the X-Men. My Marvel knowledge does not come close to my DC knowledge, uh, but I have a good friend at work, uh, Mr. James Wilkie. Hi, James. Uh, that is the uh, walking encyclopedia of Marvel. Uh, so he's kind of my go-to guy, uh, you know, because I went to him and was like, tell me about Chamber. And so he explained the whole thing. But I didn't want him for my Marvel shelf, just like the Professor Indiana Jones figure. I wanted that body. Bad heads, boop, coming off, and that body's going to be used for Kit Bash Customs. So let's take a look here. We've got the Marvel Legends with windowless packaging. Marvel Legends up at the top. Build a figure. Cho Chode? Ch Chode? Chode. I'm just going to call him Chode. Chode. Um, which I may get all the pieces for. I'm not going to get the figures, but I'm going to get all the pieces for because he is a cool looking figure. Some of you, I'm sure, know who he is. I don't know him either. Um, there we've got Marvel's Chamber. There's the figure X-Men. Uh, warning, don't put... Chode, or chode, don't put chode in your mouth. Definitely don't put Marvel Chamber in your mouth. Because um, look at that. That'll cut your inside of your cheeks. Um, but uh, plastic-free packaging, Hasbro. On the side here, we've got uh, Chamber. Apparently, he has very bad heartburn. Uh, Marvel Legends down here at the bottom. X-Men logo at the top. Uh, over here on the side, we've got a picture of Chode, which is cool-looking uh, reptilian big guy. I mean, he looks pretty cool. I might try to snag the pieces of that. And he's got some little gooby monster that he comes with. But uh, there's the whole wave. Emma Frost, Marvel's Fang, uh, Monet St. Croix, uh, Star Jammer Corsair, Marvel's Kid Omega, and Marvel's Chamber. Jibbery Jerry legal jargon. Uh, in the, on the back here, we've got a picture of the figure, a picture of the chode left arm. Uh, accessories. Uh, jibbery jabbery legal jargon, ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. Uh, more jibbery jabbery legal jargon, houses of Klingon and barcode. And on the bottom, uh, plastic free packaging, multilingual, jibbery jabbery legal jargon, and I don't know, whatever the hell that is. Uh, anyway, let's get trusty out. Pew! And get in. Oh, that's right. This is this is. Uh, I gotta cut the tape on the tab. All right, there we go. Put trusty away. Don't need you no more. And let's pop this open and get him out. I'm excited about this because I this is. I just thought it's a cool looking body, sort of a ghost ridery. Um, ah, is stupid piece of paper. Um, we got other. Oh, there's there's the chode arm. Chodes on. All right, we'll get him out of here and put these. I will, like I said in the Professor Ninja, I know a lot of you guys don't like, and I get it. I get it. I know why you guys don't like you, you in the box collectors, and there's nothing wrong with that. You non openers, no biggie. Um, oh, I'm tearing the paper. Um, I'm assuming his hands are in the chode arm uh, sleeve. Yep, there's one. Okay, let's get that out. All right, we can put this back in. Put that back in the box. And flap, flap, tab. Oh, there goes a hand. All right, and let's get this dude on the pedestal. All right, here we've got him on the pedestal. Let's take a look at the accessories. Uh, first off, let's just get the big old green arm out here. Uh, this is the 
left arm of Chode. It looks pretty cool. Um, again, I don't know anything about that character, but he does look cool. This is a big lizard guy, sort of like a killer croc. I don't know, maybe that's Marvel's equivalent to killer croc. I don't know. But uh, yeah, cool looking arm. Uh, all in green, a little bit of accents there, but you know, um, I, I really, I'm really kind of looking at this more like a customizing prospect of like maybe getting this and doing the nails like maybe in black and give him little touch ups here and there, put a black wash on him, uh, look pretty cool. But you know, there you go, there's Chode's arm, and then we have two fisted hands. He comes with two splayed out hands, sort of like casting hands i i don't know what this guy's power set is or you know what he does but you know that that's a neat looking body uh but we've got fisted hands for the left and right there uh just your basic marvel fisted hands and uh then he comes with the two there and then there is uh chamber and chamber stands at approximately to the top of his head about six and a quarter right at six and a quarter inches tall um Let's take a look at the sculpt here. Um, we've got a very angry looking face hidden down in a translucent explosion of fiery vomit, whatever that is. Uh, again, like I said, I don't know this guy, but uh, that's a neat looking body. Keep saying that. Make a drinking game out of it. No, 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 no. We're not doing it. Don't do that. Um, Cool looking head. Uh, you're not going to get much articulation out of that head. Uh, but we got like a black motorcycle jacket with a sort of ribbed t shirt, tight uh, compression t shirt there underneath. Uh, all the way back, uh, just a really neat looking. I mean, nice how the, the colors of the arms, sometimes the arms don't match that overlay soft vest jacket thing. Um, or maybe it is just a vest. I don't know. It looks like it, it could be a vest or just a jacket. It's probably a jacket. Um, got little silver paint apps on the buckles. Got a buckle right there. Got silver paint apps on the zippers and the pips on the uh, jacket there. The zippers, silver. They've really taken the time. Even, yeah, the belt buckle here. Really nicely done. Black pants, all in black. Black pants down to the boots or shoes. Looks, uh, probably, yeah, those are boots. And uh, they're kind of a glossy. They look a little bit glossier than the pants do. So you have the, yeah, sort of a glossy black leather boot thing going on there. Uh, and, uh, you know, and then just your basic hands there. Uh, looking at articulation, um, head uh, doesn't go very far one way or another. Um, I'm really hoping that's a standard ball peg under there. Otherwise, I've just wasted my time and money. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're not getting much out of... Let's see, let's see if we can pop that head off. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Got a flesh ball peg on a hinge. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to be able to put all kinds of good heads on that body. But, uh, yeah, just a... Uh, that, I mean, that head's not coming out of that thing. It is, I don't even think it's a full face that's on there. But uh, we'll, um, actually, let's go ahead and pop this off for the meantime. We'll leave it right there, and we'll, that way we can do a little bit better articulation. Um, got, uh, yeah, just a standard Marvel hinge there on that neck. I'm loving that. Uh, arms all, ooh, boy, oh, tight. Tight, 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 tight. There we go. Okay, I don't think that's going to go any higher than that. I don't want to force it. Yeah, this is going to need heated up a little bit. Um, so that's about as far as I'm willing to go on that right now. I don't want to pop that uh, joint on the, uh, on the bicep. But uh, it's a cool-looking shirt underneath. Very the crow like so yeah that's definitely a jacket um got a bicep swivel there with a double elbow going right into there and uh, it sort of seems like he's got big hands i don't know maybe that's just me um wrist all the way around and in and out on the left with the same on the right in and out there let's put his arms back yeah he's gonna need heated up a little bit Got a ball joint mid-torso uh, for some ab crunch. Actually, not bad considering he's got a jacket on there. Way forward. Um, liking that. Waist swivel, people. Woo! 
Love me some way swivel. Um, legs out to there. That's about, and it's not pinless, which is surprising. Legs out to there, no drop down ball joint, but we do have a thigh swivel and a double knee. Now the legs are fine. Double knee all the way back to there. Um, does have pretty skinny legs. So you can get those legs back pretty far. Now, I will say this out of the box, I noticed that the feet were a little stiffed too. Um, but uh, you've got uh, detents on the feet and a forward rocker on the feet. Let's pop his head back on. And we'll get him stood up here in sort of a... I guess this is the way he uses his power. Uh, he projects uh, heartburn onto people. I don't know what his power set is. If you would like to leave a comment down there, either James Wilkie or anybody else... Uh, about who he is and uh, what he does. Uh, I know I could look it up, but uh, it's more entertaining for me to read your comments, so you can leave those down there. All right, let's take him off the pedestal and uh, line him up with some other guys and see how he scales up. All right, here we've got him with the Mattel Jurassic World Amber Collection, Dr. Alan Grant. The Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Mezco 112th Collective, Superman Man of Steel Edition, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Martian Manhunter. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with uh, the figure. Uh, I'll give him a... Uh, I'll give him an 8 out of 10, just for the, you know, the fact that it's a cool body. I'm just, like I said, I'm going to pop that head off and put, put a different head on him and... Uh, uh, we'll see uh, see what I can come up with there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a cool figure. Um, the head's kind of, they. I, I guess it's something to do with his power. He just emits energy from his head or something, or fire, or, I don't know, molten vomit. I don't know what it is. But uh, <laughs> he looks cool. It's a neat-looking body, um, cool-looking all in black leather. Uh, I can make a pretty cool-looking dude out of that. The uh, fact that his hands pop off, too, I can put... Uh, um, actually, I've got a I've got a Valiverse uh, weapons pack Delta coming in, and that's got like two gold uh, pistols in it. So I might put some trigger hands on him and give him some kind of you know dark leather clad vigilante thing. But uh, man, you'll see that soon enough. I'll put a, another video up of some of my customs. So at any rate, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.